Hello, welcome. This is Clarity Design Tutorials and we're just going to have a look at Adobe Illustrator CS5.5 and we're going to be having a look at the Shape Builder and uh, the Pathfinder tools. Now, to find the Pathfinder tools, you might need to go and open up that window. You can find it underneath Windows. If you scroll down, you'll find Pathfinder. It's also on a shortcut there, you can see. Um, and what we're going to do today is just have a very quick look at how this works. Basically, if you select the object you want to join together, um, and then you click one of the options over here it will apply it and one of the most useful of these is this one here which allows us to join together two different objects getting rid of the weighted lines in between if you imagine that you uh, need a situation uh, for example where you've got um, where you just want the outside line edge or the outside shape this shape would be actually quite difficult to draw with something like the pen tool but uh, using the pathfinder tool very easy to build uh, shapes like this for example very easy to build using the Pathfinder tool. Just another option here, let's just have a look at what happens here. This is very good for logos. Um, when you've got text which is going over the top of other shapes and you want to have it go black to white and white to black. Uh, I've used it a number of times on uh, t-shirt design, single color t-shirt designs. Um, but there's more options than that. Uh, in fact, if I just go back on that, there's another uh, there's another tool we can use. You, you know, there's a number of options down here you can play around with. If you just hover over them, then it tells you approximately what they do. I'm not going to go through them all, it will take too long. Um, so what else can we do? Uh, well, over here you've got something called uh, the Shape Builder tool, which is a, a newer tool. Um, and what we can do is we can start building together shapes uh, by having, if you've got them selected when you click on the tool, and then you uh, click on one and drag it over, and you can see how it combines it together. So we can keep going in that sense until we've combined all of the shapes that we want to combine. Um, so we can just go back on that and have a look what happens if we press uh, the Alt key at the same time. Okay, if I do that to that, right, it subtracts it from the other shape. So it subtracts it from the other shape. So that's with the Alt key pressed down. All right, so we can play around with uh, with these tools uh, until we become confident with them. Uh, but they're very useful tools to uh, to have a, a play with. Let's just have a look at this one over here. Let me just give this uh, give this color a fill, and I'll show you what I was saying about uh, using it for logos very quickly. So I've got that one and get this A, let's just fill that black as well, just to make sure it works and I select both of them and over here I'm just going to do this um, this subtract tool and you can see how the A becomes perfectly visible uh, in quite logo type style there okay so uh, a really useful tool for building complex shapes that might be difficult to draw otherwise and also very useful when doing illustration work um, the possibilities are quite extensive I hope this uh, tutorial has been useful for you uh, this is Clarity Design Yep, I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Thank you.